Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Douglas McChristian collection that Fort Concho recently acquired. Uh, we are very excited to have this collection come to Fort Concho. It is pretty much a one-of-a-kind collection and it has quite a few pieces, about 700. Uh, this is a very important collection to the Fort because the collection encompasses uh, items, equipment, uniforms, uh, accoutrements, other pieces that the soldiers used in war, with many of them being identified to soldiers of the time period. So the story goes that Douglas McChristian, who was a longtime National Park Service uh, director, uh, staff member at many different sites, including Fort Davis, uh, he unfortunately uh, contacted us last year and said that he didn't have much time to live, that his doctors gave him about six to eight months to live and he wanted to contact us to let us know that he would like for Fort Concho to acquire this collection. Uh, a couple of reasons, he had a great connection with Fort Concho, with the staff here, with the site, uh, that Texas connection of him working at Fort Davis, and he knew that if Fort Concho was able to purchase this collection that it would stay intact. So we are very excited to have this. Uh, it's not only a legacy and a history of the soldiers themselves who used this stuff, who wore this stuff, but it's also to honor the legacy of a preeminent Western historian and author and individual who worked with the National Park Service for over 35 years. So this is kind of dedicated to him as well, and we are very happy to have something like that. What we're going to do with the 700 pieces is probably rotate in and out different thematic exhibits into a smaller area. In the future, when Fort Concho gains the funds to create a new visitor center, we're going to incorporate this into its own gallery space, showcasing the vast majority of the collection. But as of right now, with the limited space we have, we're going to use what we have right here in the visitor center and just rotate in and out thematic exhibits. So right now we have a winter exhibit, showcasing and highlighting some of the winter clothing, some of the equipment and other things. Uh, that they used and also a little special side exhibit about the Buffalo Soldiers. So there are a few things that were associated specifically with some of the regiments of the Buffalo Soldiers. Uh, but we are very excited because there's so much stuff in here, so much important pieces, so many rare pieces uh, that are part of the military history and heritage that Douglas McChristian would collect. He not only wanted it to be an exhibit for everybody to see, but he also wanted this to be a research collection for people to come in from the nation, all over the United States to be able to come in and look at a particular piece because it is so rare and so interesting, they want to see that one particular piece.